How's it going, everybody? This is Tommy with Outside Our Lane. Back with another unusual video today. Uh, most of you who follow the channel know that I like foraging and doing uh, wild edibles. But uh, one thing I haven't done on the channel is wild edible weeds. So it's going to give you kind of, guys some kind of insight on some edible weeds. I'm just in the yard here. And I'll just show you how readily available some things are. This first one we're going to show you. Here, let me get the camera turned around. The first wild edible I want to show you here is lamb's quarters. Just right here. Get it focused good. We can see it good. It's a readily available plant it grows you find you do find a lot under cedar trees but a uh, disturbed soil around the edges of gardens i see a bunch of it under several of these cedar trees through here but that's it right there uh kenwith album another one of the common names for this plant is goosefoot and uh that's where the it's derived from is the Kino is, is goose-like, an album, Kinopodium album, I'm sorry, Kinopodium album. Kino is goose foot, or goose, and a podium is foot. An album is white, so if you look at the, under the underneath there, you see a white type of substance on there. They'll all all kind of a, a giveaway on this plant it's really an easy plant to identify uh, you can eat this plant raw you can cook it in the placement replacement of greens it is high in vitamin b protein uh, it's got like 10 times the amount of vitamin c as other plants so it's really really good for you not only does it taste good it's readily available it's easy to identify if you look on the serrations on these leaves, I'll kind of give you. I don't want to focus very good. I don't know if it's because of lighting or, or what. Get over here in the sunlight and see if it, it's only 95 degrees, so I'm trying to avoid the sunlight where I can. White underneath, serrated edges. Uh, the stem itself is edible if you pick up close to the top uh, The younger plants are the best ones these little short ones like right like right here You just reach down and, and it's It's very easy to pick you just pick off the, the top portion you pull very hard at all the whole root comes up It's a very very easy plant to to pull up uh, I remember when I was a kid pulling this up and getting rid of it out of the garden had no idea it wasn't edible at the time But uh, yeah so we're going we're going to pick some of this and take it and, and cook it up and see what you guys think I've, I've eaten it raw i'll be honest i've never i have never cooked any of it but i have you know just thrown some in my mouth walking by it or whatever but uh there are some recipes i found online we'll try some of those this is a very very common edible very easily identified and very good for you there's no there's not many uh cons about this vegetable or this plant All right we'll get back to you in the kitchen uh, i didn't pick much just picked enough just for a, a good trial run but this is lamb's quarter aka goose foot and uh parker likes it anna's anna's still out she doesn't know yet she's a little skeptical Denise got a second bite. Corey said it tastes like an elm leaf, so. I'm just concerned about the amount of dog peel. That, you know, that is, that is a safe assumption. It is suggested that you rinse it off. American elm, by the way. American elm. That's mine. Just give it a light rinse. That's all I'm doing here. Mama. 
it's really weird that white substance that's on it is hydrophobic so when you put it, water on it it does what it does rinse it off but it's still kind of kind of dry it's really really strange <clears throat> here we get it we got it rinse good I'm gonna leave it, let that sit there and just kind of drain out a little bit and I'm gonna put some bacon on all right, right now all I'm doing is just cooking down some bacon a little bit and get it to floppy stage and then cut it up and then throw the lamb's quarter on top of it and I know that's cheating you cook anything with bacon and it makes it taste better I know that but this is just a recipe that that I think I would like so so there okay we got our bacon cooked down I took a pair of cutting shears and cut it up while it was frying I highly recommend these what what brand did you say these were pioneer woman those are those are extremely good kitchen shears probably the best kitchen shears i've ever used anyway just dump your greens on top of the bacon i'm gonna wilt those down you're gonna get some popping from the water that's in there That's my buddy Parker. He's wanting, wanting to help. Not yet, buddy. Okay, just a second. Papa, hold you. You're not used to saying no. I'm not used to saying no. And we're gonna cook this, cook this down a minute. That's it. Just make sure you kind of toss it around. Everybody share it on the loving. Like I said, this is the first time I've cooked this. I've eaten a lot of it raw, but I've never, never cooked any. So I'm not gonna add any seasonings yet. I'm gonna wait until I get it done and then see what needs to be added. And yes, this is absolutely cheating because you're using bacon and I know that. And we're gonna call that good. Parker's insisting too. Hi, buddy. Okay, give me just a second. All right. Got the heat turned off. I'll fix the movement from the burner here in just a second. And we're going to call that good. Slide to the back of that cool for a little bit. Corey's making squash over here. Thanks to BJ. Alright, get back to you in a minute. Yeah, we're just gonna transfer it over into the bowl so it's completely stuck cooking in the pan. Still enough residual heat there that's gonna still soften a little bit, but I don't want it to get overcooked by any means. Like I was telling y'all a while ago, this has got more vitamin B, vitamin C, iron, and protein than cabbage or spinach either one. So it's, it's that much better for you than either one of them. I know, buddy. Give me just a second. I'm going to let that cool for a little bit and we're going to try it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you a bite. Is it good? He ate it all. Get some daddy. Go. It does, doesn't it? 
does kind of taste like bacon. I mean, it's, a, it's not bitter at all. Like, mm -mm, it doesn't have a bitter taste at all. Oh, that's a. I like it. A whole lot. This supposed to boil. That is lamb quarter cooked in bacon. Kino podium album. Good stuff. All right, y'all hit that like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys.